What's up, Dirty Cones? Cody and I are uh, once again on the on the road again, and uh, he's asleep mostly. So, uh, I've been trying to answer this question. I had four questions. They were very well written questions. Uh, you can tell he's a smart comb. Um, and his question was. What is a PJ? What are they? The combination of uh, medic, soldier, surgeon, firefighter, kind of uh, like what is a PJ? That's a good question. Um, so Pararescue started in the jungles of Burma in 1942. You weren't there and then you were there. All right. Jungles of Burma in 1942 when a plane went down over the Burma hump and they needed uh, somebody to go save these guys because they had important war papers and also some important people. So a doc and two med techs jumped into the jungle and uh, 80 days later came out with uh, 29 survivors. One guy, I think the co-pilot died. Um, on exit. Uh, over the years, uh, pararescue used to be seer instructors, uh, used to be scanners and gunners, used to be uh, during the Vietnam War they, they flew on, uh, they were almost firefighters because that was the, the helicopters they were using were for fire suppression on the uh, airfields. And so I don't know if you guys have ever seen the picture, uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, they they do it all: rock climb, scuba dive, skydive, dangle from helicopters, uh, fast rope from C-130s. No, that's just a joke. Uh, <laughs> I heard a guy one time tell me, "Yeah, I fast rope from C-130 one time," and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so. Uh, see when they're going a little too fast. Um, although the Germans and the Russians, when parachuting and airborne first started, uh, the Russians would throw dudes out in seats and hope that their seats would land, um, <laughs> which most time they did not. And I believe the Germans threw dudes out uh, attached to bales of hay. <laughs> so we've come a long way. Um, but a pararescue man is everything. You could be asked to do, hey, we need to go rescue this person who's in a flood. Okay, got it. Hey, we need to go rescue this person on the side of a mountain. Okay, got it. Um, it's everything. So, you know, the, the things that they teach you how to do, you know, pararescue dirt medicine, um, are just short of being a trauma surgeon at some points and the responsibility to know what you're doing to do the right technique the right procedure the right thing to the right person um, very very important and I believe as a PJ you know and, and I can say you know as a young senior airman I've said this before uh, I've got a colonel, you know, who's a the aircraft commander. Uh, Aaron Ronnie, what do you think we should do? Well, sir, I believe we should do this. Okay, sounds like a good plan. You know, I was a senior airman, been in three or four years. Uh, but because I'm a PJ, you know, they they trust your knowledge and your skill, and and that is a very important thing. But also, in this day and age, how often are we allowed? Uh, to rise up to the occasion and say, hey, you know what? I'm in charge. This is what we're doing. I like it. And people go, okay. And, but I've always been open for, you know, if, if I've got an idea and someone says, hey, you know, what do you think about this? I, I thought about that and uh, we're going to stick with my plan or, hey, you know what? That is a really good plan. I, have, I know of twice, maybe three times that somebody else had a better idea and I said you know what? that's that sounds good to me let's do that you know like Jocko says keep it simple 
uh, the less complex the better and as long as everybody understands uh, you can fulfill your mission if they don't understand then you're gonna run into trouble so keep it simple silicone kisk <laughs> um, so I'm, I think I'm gonna make this a four-part series uh, because there were four questions um, I, I, I'll be quick we were uh, we were in New Jersey I had my leashing ceremony with Cody I met the wonderful wonderful people who gave me Cody they're called legacy of a hero and uh, Miss Cosgrove Bowie her son Chris Cosgrove died in Fallujah oh man And, and I, this is just a quickie. I, I'll do a full. I want to do a full thank you to to them and the K9Soldiers.org for what they've done. But this legacy of a hero, and I'll, I'll put the link down below. They've helped 69 warriors, men, women, uh, EMTs, paramedics, firefighters, cops, soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen. Um, They've given four PJs dogs. Uh, these people are amazing, the things that she's doing to help uh, people and, and spread some love. And, and she, she lost her son, but she's inherited 69 others so far and in doing, you know, God's work. And, and I think that if, if you've got any funds that you don't need, if you could help either one of these service organizations because the, the love and the goodness that they are spreading uh, is very palpable. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of service organizations out there to choose from, but if I could, I could recommend these two, uh, I believe, I believe they, they do a lot of good. So I cut this one short so it's not too long uh this will be a four-part series i'll do number two uh next and then uh and then i'm going to do a, a not a long one but a good one for those two service organizations because uh i mean look at that he's such a beautiful little dude hangs out with me keeps me happy and uh everywhere we go he spreads love and happiness and uh so I want to thank them. And if, if you get a chance to check out The Art of Manliness, The Forgotten Virtue of Reverence. Uh, the one on being a barbarian is pretty good too. <laughs> um, but really good. I, I like that guy. And Jocko, as usual, is on fire. So check it out. And uh, I will talk to you later. Booyah.